shadowy figure move across the bottom of the door where some light was at. And so I didn't see no animals because they got dogs. I didn't see their son anywhere. It was just a figure that walked by the bathroom floor by the door on the on the shadow and then it didn't it just disappeared. So when I went to go and bless the house with me and my buddy Steve, we blessed it together. Uh, she, that night before we left, showed me two pictures. One picture was of his room a couple days ago, which in which you could not see the door at all. And the other picture was the room after the room was blessed. And in the first picture, he was climbing out of bed, and he was, and you couldn't see the door, and there was a lot of fuzziness and all kinds of darkness in the room. But when you display God's light, and that darkness will be dispelled. So when you display God's light, darkness is dispelled by praying and blessing the house. When we did that, the second picture was bright and everything in there was seeable. Now the chair itself wasn't so seeable and that's obvious because that was like right up against the camera almost. And that that's obvious. But you can see the definition of the door and everything. So every, And he was sound asleep. So when you display God's light, in the world, that darkness is dispelled, just like in my example when you turn on the night lights. So we're going to dispel darkness by displaying God's light and doing nothing but praying for people, for you, for us, the ministry, the president, the United States of America, other countries, just like we did today with India. We're going to do that with, with different things. And that's going to be preferably at midnight because that's when the darkness comes out. Because darkness loves darkness. And as I was trying to get at with those pictures, then the first picture, before we display God's love, darkness loved darkness and collected all in that room. And all that darkness was in there. And then when we display God's light, the darkness was gone. So with that being said, like out for the rumble so we can pray for you as well. So let us know. If you got a prayer request, go to community call two 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 at gmail dot com spelled C O M M U N I T Y C L O U D two 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 at gmail dot com and send me your prayer requests. Or call me at one three oh two four four eight eight four four three. Again it's one three oh two four four eight T G I F Call us right there or leave us an email. We'd love to hear from you. And if you're a new Christian and you got saved by the sinner's prayer through the ministry that we do here every Monday and Saturday, then please call us up and let us know that you got saved and that you love Jesus now and you want him to be Lord and save your life. And we'll shout out to you on the podcast as well. So look out for the rumble. Also, guys, download the app. The app is wonderful. It's one of the greatest things that we here at TGIF have been creating. And so far, everything is working out just fine. There is a small, slight problem with the chat feature. The play button that I put in there, because see, a lot of people told me that they don't like having music, Chris, on the, the chat feature that it will distract them from the conversations they're having. So... People don't like having music while they're chatting with people. Now, it's not super loud, but it's not so quiet you can't hear it either. It's just background music. And uh, I wanted to have music in there myself because I thought it would be pretty cool to have background music playing. And I found the perfect piece for it. And the jazz composer who created it created it allowed me to use it in my background music and which is a miracle itself because everybody I've been asking to come on has been saying yes 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 and when i ask them to play their music absolutely so it's just been a true blessing because see you'll never know you'll never know what somebody will say if you don't ask them so i asked him and he said yes and i got it in there but it won't automatically play like when it loads up like it does on the actual website itself but it's okay because now that gives them the opportunity. If they want the background music, they just push the play button and it plays the music. If they don't want the background music, they push the play button and it doesn't play it. But every once in a blue moon, uh, once in a blue moon, for those of you who do not know, Chris should know this, once in a blue moon means every once in 300 years. Don't know why it means that, but a blue moon happens because a blue moon happens every 300 years. Whatever that's supposed to mean, I have no idea. I just know that. Once in a blue moon, we once in 300 years. 
but once in a blue moon, it will end up not playing the music on the play button. I have to open and close the the computer and then go to the website that it's on and let it re-download that piece of music back into the uh, website that I put it into. It's almost like a Google Drive site. It's called uh, uh, Mailbox Drop or something or Drop Mailbox where you drop in like MP3s and stuff and you can put them into like your... You can file drop. Something like that. Yeah, like a file drop is what it is. And uh, the file drop allows you to drop it in there like like a drop, almost like Dropbox or uh, what's the other one, Google Drive. But then you can take the link that they give you and put that into a like a website. And then when you click on it, it brings up a player that plays that specific piece of music. Or you can put it into your own player and load the player into your website. And as long as they push play on the web on that player, it'll play the music. Or if you put it to automatically play, it'll play automatically as well. So that's one of the sites that I'm using to uh, to put the piece of music into. But every once in a while, it, it, inst- it re-downloads it back to the actual website. So I don't know how to get it to continuously play without having it to uh, re-download every once in a while. So I just, if it does happen, just just you know, let me know, guys, and. I'll then go into the uh, the the web server and I'll make sure that it redownloads again. But it does that sometimes by itself. I'm not sure why it does, but it does. So with that being said, just let it do what it's going to do. Until then, I'll try to find a different play button to put on there, like for uh, Spotify or what's the other one I'm looking at right now? There's Spotify. There's I forgot what it is now. But I'm looking into it right now, and I'm, and I'm working on it, and that's not working so well. But let me go into the web for just a minute, guys, so I can get the exact. Uh, where is it at now? Here we go. What is this called? SoundCloud. That's what it is, guys. I'm working on getting my SoundCloud button into the podcast portal. That way you can push the SoundCloud button, and SoundCloud should automatically play no matter what as long as you push that button so with that being said guys download the app it's not for us but it's for you it's our way of encouraging you each and every week on the show so what can you do on the app you can listen to the show and with a free spreaker.com account you can listen you can make comments to the show as well that's s-p-r-e-a-k-e-r.com you can listen to the show and make comments to the show by the way guys the podcast is called Podcast Portal, spelled P-O-D-C-A-S-T space P-O-R-T-A-L, Podcast Portal. And you can get on the Google Play Store. You can get also on the Amazon App Store and Aptoid as well. And eventually it will be an ISO app for Apple as well. But right now, they want $99 a year to keep their, the app on the store. I'm not... I'm not doing that right now because I'm not here making a lot of money through the through the podcast yet. And don't get me wrong, it's not all about money. It's all about who I reach for Jesus with the gospel. But money does help keeping this alive and I gotta I I wanna eventually get some donations and so I can start keeping this alive and doing bigger and better things because I can't do bigger and better things if I don't have the funds to do so. So I'm not going to pay the 100 bucks just yet just to keep it on the app store for the year. So eventually that will happen. But once I get the money to, I'll be able to delete all the ads in the app. So you'll never see an ad again. That's like 10 bucks a month. And uh, and then, but it's going to be on, it's on the Google Play right now. It's on the Amazon app store. There's a bunch of different stores that it's on. App to I'm going to do it to a bunch of other uh not so mainstream app stores like uh, there's uh, there's a bunch of them where you can just download Android apps and stuff like Aptoid's one of them that's not a mainstream uh, play app store. But there's a bunch of other places like uh, what's that one for the uh, the Amazon Fire Store? I'm going to put that on there as well. So there's a bunch of different places you'll be able to download it. I'm the Amazon App Store. Yeah, I got that right now. I'm on there as well. And then I might even add it as a Chrome extension so you can download to your Chromebooks again. Because for some reason, 
Chris, it doesn't allow Chrome users to download the app. So I got to figure out why and how I can get that to work to get it for Chromebook as well. So there's a lot of things going on. But what else can you do is you can not only listen to the show, make comments on the show, but you can connect with me through Facebook, Twitter, and email. Yes, you can email me straight through the app. Let me give you TGIF's patented life hacks. Life hack. Everyone loves those five minute craft for those those life hacks you see on YouTube where where you can uh take a here's an example, you take a a pan that's got black on the bottom of it because you cooked on it for many years. You take uh baking soda, put it on there, you put vinegar on there and let that bubble up and let it sizzle for a minute, and then you wipe it off and your pan becomes clean again. That's a life hack. Now let me give you one of TGIF's patented life hacks. Here's the here's the scenario. You want to send TGIF an email, but you don't want to type in C-O-M-M-U-N-I-T-Y-C-L-O-U-D-222 at G-M-A-I-L dot C-O-M. Whew, see how much of a breath it takes to do all that? Finally, so what you do is you go into the app, download the app. On the bottom right-hand corner of any page, you click on the email button. Once you click on the email button, you click click on your client, your email client, which is Google, Yahoo, AOL, or anything else that you use, and then you hit always, and type in your your email, and hit send. That seems like a lot, but the next time you go back to the podcast portal again, you just click on the email button, it sends you right to that email instantly, faster than a snap of a finger, and then you instantly type in your email, and hit send. It's that easy. It's click, type, click and you've already sent an email so see that's tgis patented life hack where you can easily send an email (laughs) it's my life hack parody it's it's just something i've been doing but let's get into what else you can do on the app real quick you can also listen to the three play buttons which is 95.5 the fish from cleveland ohio kjic from texas a country gospel station, and my former church, Evangel Christian Churches, Drs. Jerry and Cheryl Piscopo. And not only can you listen to the three play buttons, but at the bottom of the play buttons, you can even do a Google search result. If you need more information about a topic we're talking on, whether it be faith or like in the example Lazarus, you want more information about who he is or you want scriptures on faith, you can type in a search result and then it will pop up the results in app. And then you click on the result and it will pop up that web page in the app so you never have to leave the app at all to do a Google search result. Which is nice, guys, because then you never have to miss a single word that we talk about on the app, on the show. Also, what you can do is you can do now a chat you can also chat with me and all the listeners that listen to TGIF right straight through the app with the new portal chat. New on Podcast Portal. That's P O D C A S T space P O R T A L. On Podcast Portal. Now Portal Chat. You can chat with the listeners. You can chat with the host. You can chat with the ghost. And anybody in the world who actually has the app will be able to chat with each other with Podcast Portal. Portal's new portal chat right at the end of the app. Just go to the very end, click. I, what I normally do is from left to right, you take your finger from left to right on your phone, then you got por- podcast portal, my Facebook, my Twitter, and then you got portal chat. No, the play buttons and then portal chat. And you'll be able to chat with the host and the listener straight from portal chat. And what can you do in the portal chat? You can send a message. You can do certain other things like you can have your message uh, bold or you can make it bold and italicized or just italicized. I did once just as a joke, Chris, to to uh, show off the app to my sister. I typed in the word, hello, Alyssa, and I made it bold. I, I put in the code for italicize. I put in code for putting a slash through it, and then I put in the code for it highlighting the the phrase hello Alyssa and then I sent it to her so then when she looked at it it was bold italicized and it was slashed through and highlighted all at once so you can do certain things I did that just to be on the funny side because I thought it would be pretty funny she didn't didn't find it funny because you know she's got mental disabilities she goes yeah I see it 
I said, what does it look like? She goes, uh, it's got a color to it. It's got a line through it. I said, yeah.